singers make a hit record or two and they drop out of sight and that's it, but only the ones that have a lot of talent manage to stay in the business for many years and still attract huge audiences wherever they appear. And Johnny Mathis is certainly one of those. This is his latest album on Columbia, and uh, he will be appearing at uh, Chicago at McCormick Place. Did they rebuild that? Didn't that McCormick Place burn down? Yeah, this is a brand new. A year or so ago? Monstrous place. And they re I they built a new place? Recently. Oh, it's enormous. Because the old one, yeah, I think. Good. Well, he will be there. Uh, it, they did build it. Otherwise, yes. uh, Johnny's not a trouble. <laughs> we're working on a field we're running somewhere. running out of time. Just what? Oh, we're running out of time. Well, he opens for a week at the Latin Quarter in Cherry Hill on May 22nd. And he'll be in Chicago on May 20th. And he's here now. Would you welcome Johnny Mathis? <laughs> To the ends of the earth, I'll follow my star. To the ends of the earth, just to be where you are. No matter where you roam, I'll never be far behind. Who cares where the path may wind, as long as I find you. Though the melody dies, the song thousand goodbyes won't convince me you're gone I'll follow you my love you'll never be free to the ends of the earth you've given your love to me to the ends of the earth I'll follow my star to the ends of the earth just to be where you
Yes, it is. You're smoking tonight. Hey, you tore them apart tonight with those numbers. Thank you very much, John. I haven't seen you since uh, on television since the night of the Academy Awards, where you did that final uh, when Chaplin was out there and everybody. I did not realize that Charlie Chaplin wrote that song. Is that, was that one of his? Smiles on your heart. Yes. I did not know it until that night. Um, that that was, a yeah, lot of other people didn't know it too, Johnny. <laughs> I mean, uh, the words you mean? The people who were singing. Yeah, yeah I, I noticed when they pan around, people were going, man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> knowing the camera was on them and trying to fake it, you know. Yeah, and that was uh, that was the extent of, uh, you know, it, it really is perhaps the most exciting evening anyone yeah. could, could ever spend, especially if you're a, a performer or a presenter because you're backstage and the only people sitting next to you are Patty Chayefsky, Tennessee Williams, and you know, people of that nature. So you're so busy training and looking and uh, what have you that uh, you, uh, you it, it's a good it's a good thing to rehearse whatever you're going to yeah. do very well in front because it, it's so exciting that sometimes uh, everybody was kind of mumbling a little it's bit. Hard you to seem to know the you seem to know the lyrics. Well, it, uh, I was standing as I said next to uh, Tennessee, I think, and. And Jane Fonda and Jill St. John, and they don't know Smile. I just wouldn't think Jane Fonda would know Smile right off. I don't know why. You so, know what I've always wanted to do? You know, you know when you go to an opening of a football game or a basketball game where they sing the Star Spangled Banner? It's been a secret desire of mine. Because everybody doesn't sing too loud because they don't want you know, the guy standing next to them to hear him. So they all say, and they, I want to take, you sneak Jan Pierce in or Robert Merrill. Okay. You know, and you kind of disguise them and then have them when they all stand up, just in the stands. You know, like it's a, it's an ordinary guy. Wouldn't that be a gas? Yeah. And he comes out, oh, say, and you know. And then, and, it's red glare. and then sit down. I'll take you, come to think of it. I'll <laughs> have to take Mel. I'll take you. That would be a gas. Uh, what it's harm? Easy. I'll yeah. tell you a, a, a secret, though. It's easier to sing loudly than it is to sing softly. You mean? So just take something, just have anything. Now, don't take the national anthem because people will, I think we're being disrespectful. What do you mean? Take, okay. take a song that's easy to sing loud and I'll try it. I did not know that. Oh. I uh, thought it was easy to kind of throw it away, you know. Oh, no. It's not. And I can't take anything because I can't think of anything well, let's to say. What could we sing? What could we, what, <laughs> what could what's, we sing? What's hot? Just, just name it. Bet uh, you by golly, wow. Oh, well, that's not good. Bet you by golly, wow. <laughs> that's not in my book. Yeah, what the... <laughs> Why is it easier to sing loud? It's a very pretty song. Uh, you can cover? Be because it doesn't take any really control. What's a hot song? A good con control. What's rainbow? Did you ever see Did you ever see a dream walking? Well, see, you well you I did. <laughs> I don't know why you even brought that up. Right. Take the light off of the band. They molt when you do that. <laughs> uh, you have some more things planned to harm me. Last first time you're on the show, we high jumped. I practically uh, ran a lance through myself. <laughs> the bar slipped off, and I was impaled. And the next, last time you were here, you had some young cows on stage, which were very disrespectful to the stage. <laughs> 
very ungracious behavior. What do we have tonight? Well, Johnny, actually tonight I'm, I'm really trying to help you and not harm you. Oh. I realize that you're from New York, mm -hmm. and this is uh, perhaps the first time that you're going to spend any, you know, you're going to spend the rest of your days here. So I really... <laughs> Sound like you're from Forest Lawn or something. <laughs> I, I, Dearly beloved, we're gathered here. No, you're. Yeah, I, we're going to be I permanent, and we'll I go mean, back in the yard. It is, is right. like going to be home for quite a while. Right. And uh, we out here. Are, uh, we drive quite differently from the way you drive no, in New no York. Issue. In other words, you know, the, the way we find New Yorkers out here is when they blow their horn. We don't blow our horns out here unless yeah. in an emergency. And uh, I've noticed it's the only place in the world where you drive at 65 and a guy behind you is honking. <laughs> you know, because you're holding up traffic. No. <laughs> Weird. No, well, we don't blow our horns. But uh, what, uh, what we do do... Uh, for instance, uh, I'll give you some for instance. When you get in the car, first of all, right. you buckle up for safety, right. of course. Nothing more than that. And you give a little few helmets. That helps. Her, that helps. <laughs> yeah. And uh, then, on the freeways out here, you can... Uh, if you see some lady driving around like that, that doesn't mean anything. She's probably just drawing her nails. Oh, I see that. <laughs> and uh, a guy doing this at a stoplight. No, he's just stretching, you know, nothing more. But uh, there are a lot of things, a lot of hand signals you can get. You saw The Godfather? Yes. Well, there are a lot of hand signals you can learn from that, too. But we won't go into yes, that. Yes, there are. Um, I don't think we can do most I of them, would, either. I would uh, like to show you. Uh, You're going to teach me to drive. Well, You've I'll, got some contraption I'll show you here. a couple. couple All right. Shall we go over, Shall we go over and okay. see what's going to happen here? <laughs> Did you ever see a dream walking? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Let's uh, let's start a minute. Is there a little gasoline engine on? Yeah, nothing. Let's start it. Oh, you can just grab this thing, I think.
You, you didn't tell me about getting out of it when the handle was turned. <laughs> there's a signal. Oh, there's a signal. I know, yes. <laughs> hey, those are crazy. What do you call those things? Yeah. That's I like know. the old bumper cars you used to have, you know, with the thing that went up to the ceiling yeah. in, the, in, the, in the fun house? Yeah, dodge it. But those are uh, great. Yeah. self-powered with their own engine. And you, I guess you can bump into anything they don't hurt. Those are crazy. Yeah. I was... I, w I was hoping we'd have one of those collapsible walls we could drive through. Well, you, I almost <laughs> did it over there. Yeah. Stay tuned. We'll be back after this message with Mr. George Carlin.